you have just been cheated out of $1,000 for a stupid brick. How do you take revenge? Hire a dead guy subscribe now, or I will be your baby. Sell it on eBay as the brick from that Reddit thread and hopefully somebody rich buys it for more than $1,000. Now we must ask the glorious karma gods to make this post famous. Leave karma gods alone. We just need to add a video game giveaway. Free copy of Fortnite full game. My frat brothers and I like playing Fortnite and having gay sex in the shower because we are gay. It would cost you absolutely nothing to delete this, just saying. I returned it for $2000. No revenge needed. I'm the husband, so I can't take revenge. I get it. I don't PLSS plan. If you can sell the brick for $1000 you get 1 mil. A husband sells it to the wife for 1k who then sells it back for 2k to make a bit of a profit. It was another ask reddit question tofe. Thanks for the context, the beta moves so fast sometimes. Too fast. Too furious. Haha, <laughs> that was my proposal on the other thread. Glad it worked for both of us. I'm sorry you were not satisfied with your 1000 brick. No worries. More than impressed with your returns policy. 10 tenths would buy from again. Say hey, what's red and bad for your teeth? And when they open their mouths, to say something hit them in the face with the brick. What's blue and really bad for your teeth? A really fast brick. This guy shifts. For the, stit. Is that why Sonic is blue? Only when he's moving toward you. His name is Knuckles, when he's running away. Why I love Reddit. I'll leave this here. A brick. Or anything bigger than an atom. Going that fast is really bad for everything within the blast radius. Best part, a careful reading of official Major League Baseball Rule 6.08b suggests that in this situation, the batter would be considered hit by pitch and would be eligible to advance to first base. Paint a stick figure on it. Call it a Bansky, and sell it for 2 million dollars like the first guy should have done. What's stopping you now? Decoy snail. That's a years old meter. Good job son. Still my favorite is credit meter. Start a GoFundMe about a homeless brick that was caught on camera giving its only slice of pizza to another person. Take the money, destroy bricks so it doesn't sue you. This makes me feel sorry for the brick. And that's how op gets money. Won't someone then post a craigslist to hire a bounty hunter of brick murderers? But then they'll have to pay for the bounty cause it's legal to kill bricks that you own. Hit whoever scammed me with the brick. Hit the brick with whoever scammed me. Sark Newton would like to know your location. That's funny, because I'm right next to his old room at Trinity, Cambridge. This happened to me. It was 750 euros, at the time, summer 2013, worth about 980 US dollars. I bought a laptop from Dell, and from day one it was so riddled with problems, it was unusable. The simplest tasks took forever. Wiffy, Ethernet and more crashed continuously, requiring a full power cycle to work again. Formatting and reinstalling Windows did nothing. Worst of all, Dell support did nothing but delay and delay. One day I finally managed to have a Dell tech over to check it out. He confirmed the countless issues, and called up Dell to say I require a replacement. I wait. He hangs up, and looks at me. Sorry. Red light equals no go. And he had to leave me with this quite literal brick. Late last year I found out that as consumer in the EU, the Netherlands specifically, I'm well protected against this. I consulted with the bureau, and they believe that, even though so much time has now passed, with such an extreme case, I'm still able to get my $1000 back, if I pursue it. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm getting my money back from them, 
one way or another. Del can go themselves. Edit definition of red light added edit to gold. Thank you. Honestly, I thought this would get buried, but as a returning Dell customer that they royally screwed over, I'm happy this is getting the attention it is. No company should treat their customers like this. Former Dell tech support agent here. For anyone who has recurring issues and you can't seem to get any help, tell the next tech support agent you talk to that, when you turned it on, it started smoking. If you need more, mention the smell of hot electronics. One thing Dell doesn't want, is a lawsuit, because their faulty machine burned someone's house down. This used to work on any Dell system, laptop, or desktop and, no matter the age, they'd replace it, typically with a close equivalent refurb so make sure you aren't going to get shafted, by getting something worth less than you paid for. Another thing. Technically this is fraud, if you do it, but if they can't fix their lemons, get them to make you lemonade. Edit. First silver. Thank you, anonymous stranger. ULPT stuff right there. As good as it gets really. Not that it should be abused from, but good to know where one can have some leverage, if you've been shafted by a giant company. Beat the out of myself with the brick for being that dumb. You can drill a hole into the brick and make this happen. Can't afford a drill. I just spent $1000 on a brick. Give me my money back or this brick is going up your ass sideways. Oh no they are extremely gay and have a brick fetish. Well it's continuing up them until it comes out the other side. So no matter how kinky they are it's gonna hurt at some point. They are also into BDSM and 50 Shades of Grey was their favorite movie. Well, they're just hopeless at that point. Wait a second, all this weird and perverted brick, I made them like you. They give you your $1000 back, yeah you. Is this a play on the other ask credit post from a different perspective? If so that's neat. I like how this is downvoted like there is a brigade of people who want only them to be able to understand the joke no normies. Only people who have time to follow the reddit meter 24 over 7 this is the furthest down I've had to go to find two joke explanation. Use the same tactic as the last seller used. That's how mafia works. What level do I need to be in mafia city? To get 1 million for selling someone a brick. Sell the brick for $2000 to anti-vax mom. After slathering it in essential oils. And marketing it as no vax needed rough sponge patent pending. Use $1000. To buy 2000 bricks. And during the middle of the night. Brick up every exit in the house. Cut power and phone line. Before bricking up last window. Sneak into house and steal all mobile phones, spit in milk container, place cookie crumbs all over couches, break every stereo device, place fake door over front and back brick doors, put shutters in front of windows, to avoid suspicion, brick up last entrance and leave. Edit, this is my most liked post, thank you for the upvotes I mean. I could say beat him to death with the brick. But I'm not a psychopath and it's not particularly clever. So I'm going to go the totally sane route and instead raise another $1000 somewhere in Nichols. I find the same guy who scammed me for the brick and re-scam him. Perform the transaction in person, wearing a mask, so he doesn't recognize me. I demand the money in cash beforehand and we meet up. He hands me 10 $100 bills. My hard-earned money. I consider it for a moment, inspecting each of the bills before nodding once and tucking it neatly into my coat. I turn around, inputting six digits into a wall-mounted safe. Inside is a brick and a remote. I turn around to him, offering the brick as I slip the remote into my pocket alongside the cash. Wait a minute. Realization begins to dawn on his face. Yeah, you're that guy from before. I am. Look, 
I'm sorry, man, but Reddit made me do it. I'm sorry, but I'm not buying a thousand dollar brick from you. See you Reddit guys, and don't forget subscribe now, or I will be your baby.